Hey guys. Hello. So we're just gonna tell you about the food we've been having so far. Again, this is day three. And we're on, we're on the balcony, you can hear the ocean. But I think the We ate at the Windjammer, and we had that for lunch once, breakfast once, and dinner once, and uh, I think only the first dinner on day one when we arrived, I guess that was dinner, it was kind of warm, um, the temperature of the food, and for me, I like my food hot, uh, but it was, it, it was okay, and then... The other time we've had the, uh, the wind jammer food, it was not as warm in the temperature as I would like it. So uh, I would say that was a, a no for me. But uh, how about you? Yeah, yeah. It's, I, I think I think the ships are still trying to work out a lot of the boats. At least that's what I hope it is. Uh, usually Royal Caribbean is usually on top of things, and then we ordered room service last night. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not that picky as far as how cold the food is or how warm it is, but that was cold. I mean, it was ridiculously cold. Uh, yeah, we had, bur we had ordered a burger and then we ordered some wings, and everything was cold. The wings were cold. So, yeah, so that was, uh, I don't know, I don't know if they, they, they still working on all the on, uh, old stuff, old clothes and stuff, whatever. But uh, yeah, this is this is one of the first ones of food we've had that the food does not seem to be. Now Johnny Walker's eat this morning was very good. Uh, yeah, we had that for breakfast. And so uh, that's what we that's what we'll be doing. Uh, now, like I said, I'm not taking anything from more Caribbean. So we will we will be writing it up on, on the uh, on the um, evaluation survey. But uh, again, I, I like I said, I'm, I'm putting it all on the ship to be being put back in service, and so they're not they're not ready to be uh, There's a lot of old stuff out there, and I'm pretty sure we're trying to save money. Uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna give. It. But the ship is in great shape. Uh, this, this view out here is what we uh, come out here for. And it's like anything else as far as the rest of it. You're not going to have a perfect situation. But yeah, we're getting ready to go. That's enough of the negative. We're getting ready to go to the kind of anchor for the diamonds and the uh, diamonds and up. So we never been to one of these. So we excited about trying to figure out what they're going that's about another hour yeah. so some kind of invite we got that said meet at uh, what is that called at the aqua theater yeah meet at the aqua theater so we'll see what that's all about yeah, we, we, we talked to you about becoming diamonds and then the longer you sell with a cruise line the more perks you get with it so yeah you you get uh not only do you get the, the, the status of, but they give you more perks. I mean, people see that if you're a diamond, diamond plus, pinnacle, they, they kind of only you know, step up the service a little bit. So, uh, but the service here is, is good. The people are performing shit. The service is good. Even though the food yeah. might not be to the top notch, I have to give a shout out to you. Uh, what was his name in the uh, window? Mm, Adrian. I think it was Adrian. Was it Adrian? I think it was Adrian. Yeah, he bought us some fresh squeeze orange juice yesterday. <laughs> his name was Travis. I think it was Adrian. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So yeah. So it, it's the service. The food is not all that bad. It's just that it's not where we used to have been on the walk. I, I, I digress. My only thing is, if there was a microwave somewhere that I could just pop it in a microwave for 30 seconds. That would that would help tremendously, but there are no microwaves at this point. So, uh, yeah, you have to kind of be standing right there when they when they take it out in order to get get it to the temperature that you like. But nonetheless, um, there are other options. Like I said, we got Johnny Rockets this morning, and it was excellent. So a lot of things, I guess, 
people probably don't know is that for breakfast, Johnny Rockets is free or complimentary with the your on, on favorite. The, on the oil is last year. On the oil is last year. And the quantum, I think the quantum is too. Because they're bigger, they have a, a whole lot more people on it. Yeah, but if you get it in the evening time, there's a flat fee. If you get it for dinner, um, and if, what I remember was that it's like, is it fourteen dollars or twelve dollars or something yeah. like that? And then you can just almost like all you can eat for that twelve dollars for um, your that room, that particular room. So it's not per person, it's per room. And uh, so yeah. And but tonight we have Izumi. Yeah. And uh, Hibachi Grill. Hibachi Grill. So that's gonna be some sushi stuff. No, no, I mean, it's, it's, it's more of a Chinese fried rice. They're gonna have chicken. No, they, uh, Azumi does have a sushi bar, but that's a separate part of it. But we're gonna do the Hibachi where they cook the rice in front of the steak and chicken and shrimp in front of it. So it's not gonna be sushi tonight. Is that what we had before? No, we, we, we went to Azumi and had sushi. Okay. We're going to do the hibachi bar. Oh, I thought it was a sushi thing. No. Okay. It is a sushi, but it, this one has a hibachi. Not all, not all ships have the hibachi. So yeah, we're getting our workout in. We're getting all of our steps in, getting our five miles in. Um, we um, got out yesterday about 6.30 tons of people on that on the track so this morning we got up and got out there at five o'clock and it was a lot better a lot less traffic um, the, the, the five miles hurt okay. yeah the five miles hurt it hurts, it hurts. Uh, and so oh. we're getting used to the first two miles no longer hurts so when we change the five miles we kind of especially on the cruise ship now that we're walking around you at home we can kind of move on the cruise ship, we continue to walk, and so it's going to help us on the cruise ship. But yeah, yeah. we're not going to sit here and tell you. <laughs> five miles is easy. Five miles is easy. Uh, but it is getting easier. The first two and three miles are starting to get easier. But that last four miles, five miles, it, it hurts. And so, and I don't mean it, it's extremely excruciating pain. But you do start to feel it in your feet, in your ankles, and your knees. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, even especially, especially being a little bit overweight. Not a little bit of weight, but a whole lot of weight. But, uh, That's what we're working on. And, and we're working on being strong. So, again, it is a uh, PCP priority uh, commitment and, and perseverance. And perseverance. So, that's what we are. Uh, we want to make this a part of our everyday life. We don't, you don't have to do five miles, but in actuality, it's something we like to do. It's something we, we like the distance. For some reason, it's a challenge. Uh, so I'm pretty sure when we get used to five miles, we end up going seven miles. So right. it's not it's not something we have to do. Uh, and you know, when we talk about the weight loss journey, it's still pretty much eighty percent of your diet. Okay? So, yeah. And if you're spiking your insulin levels, your body's going back. So uh, and you want to try to and, and, and you. You can spike your insulin level every time you eat, especially when you eat carbohydrates. Insulin goes up. So, so you want to try to eat in a, to a point where you stop eating about 16 hours a day. Not eating for 16 hours a day. So that's what we try to get to. So, well, in the meantime and in between time, we're gonna keep looking at this ocean because it's beautiful. This is where you get your money, right here, looking at this ocean. Being here, so we'll see you around the ship.